Hello, in this video we're going to look at interest rates and taxes. In the first scenario, the nominal interest rate is 10%, the inflation rate is 4%, and the tax rate is 20%. Scenario 2, nominal interest rate 8%, inflation rate 2%, and the tax rate is running at 20% again. We want to find three things, before tax and after tax real interest rate, and the after-tax nominal interest rate. One important point is we're going to assume taxes are based on nominal gains, not real gains, so the taxes will be based on the nominal interest rate. And so I'll put this information in a table. So we have our scenarios here, scenario one and scenario two in their own column. Scenario one, the nominal interest rate is 10%. Inflation rate is running 4%. So to get the before-tax real interest rate, 10 minus 4 gives us a before tax real interest rate of 6%. Now let's just determine the size of the tax. All we're going to do is we're going to take 20% of 10. So again, taxes are based on nominal gains. So 0.2 times 10 gives us the tax uh, at running at 2%. So if we have our after tax real interest rate here, uh, is what we're trying to calculate. We're going to take the before tax real interest rate and subtract from it this 2, leaving us with an after tax real interest rate of 4%. So again, taking the before tax real interest rate, subtracting out the tax, we have an after tax real interest rate of 4%. If we wanted to get the after tax nominal interest rate, we could just take this 10 and then subtract the, again, the size of the tax from it. So the after-tax nominal interest rate is 10 minus 2, or 8%. Uh, doing a similar thing here for scenario 2, 8 minus 2 gives us the before-tax real interest rate. Taking 20% of 8 gives us the size of the tax, running at 1.6%. So to get the after-tax real interest rate, we're going to take 6, subtract from it 1.6, leaving us with an after-tax real interest rate of 4.4%. Finally, to get the after-tax nominal interest rate, take 8, the nominal interest rate, and subtract from it the size of the tax, leaving us with an after-tax nominal interest rate of 6.4%. One thing I want to point out here, alternatively, we could calculate the after-tax uh, real interest rate by taking the after-tax nominal interest rate and subtracting from it the inflation rate. So notice if we took 8, subtracted from it 4, you would also back into the after-tax real interest rate. Likewise, if we took this after-tax nominal interest rate of 6.4, subtracted from it the inflation rate, that's another way of, again, backing into the after-tax real interest rate. You notice the way we did it originally in the table, we just took the before tax real interest rate and subtracted from it the tax. So either way is fine. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.